everybody, Pastor George here with the Myrtle Beach Bible Bank, and I have a thought of heaven for you today, and I hope it brings you some encouragement, I hope it helps to uh, lift up your spirit, uh, maybe take away any heaviness that is upon you. Uh, you know, Jesus died um, to take our burdens, you know, he says to be yoked to him, uh, that his yoke is easy and that his burden is light. And so it is God's desire for us to be um, sons and daughters of liberty, sons and daughters of victory, uh, sons and daughters of joy because we are connected with our Father in heaven. And so I hope that you uh, are a son and daughter of joy today, that you be rejoicing in all of the goodness of God uh, and to know uh, that he is able to bring you through any challenge that is before you, that there is nothing that is greater than the name of Jesus. Uh, that greater is he who is in me than greater is he who is in the world. Uh, and so through Jesus Christ, you have victory. I have victory. And so let's praise him together. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the victory that you give us. Not only the ultimate victory over death to have life with you forever, but the victories that you give us day by day over the, the lusts of our flesh, over the temptations of the world, Lord God. You keep our focus on you. Our heart is with you, Lord God, and may your heart be within us, Lord God, that we be children who bring your glory down from heaven onto this earth, Lord God, so that others may see your goodness and experience your love and your grace, uh, Lord God, as we live out your word in action and truth. Praise God. I've shared with you a lot already, uh, and so uh, I hope you've absorbed some of that and have been encouraged by it. And I want to continue to encourage you um, through the book of Acts, uh, towards the end of the book, you know, uh, God does not promise us an easy life um, through Jesus Christ uh, here in this world. Um, he does promise to deliver us ultimately uh, and that we will be with him in his kingdom. Uh, and so let's hold fast to that truth um, that through Jesus Christ we can do all things. Uh, that he is our strength, that we allow uh, God's Holy Spirit to do the work and don't rely on our own abilities uh, to continue to move forward. Um, and so uh, we're not promised freedom from challenges, but we are promised from um, those challenges overtaking us um, and bringing us down, uh, for we have life in Jesus Christ. Uh, and so when these challenges come up, what do we do? Uh, and we see in Acts chapter 27, um, beginning really at the beginning of the chapter when Paul is being sent to Italy. He has to go by ship, uh, and eventually what happens is the ship runs into a very bad storm. Um, they were trying to sail kind of at the end of the season, uh, and it was really just a bad decision when even Paul had urged them not to sail, that they should uh, ride the winter out um, before continuing on to Rome. Um, but they continue on to Rome nonetheless, run into a storm, uh, and are greatly challenged, even to the point where we read about in Acts chapter 27, verse 20, Now when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given up. So they were even at the point of giving up. They were at the end of the line. They were at the end of their rope. They were at the end of their strength. But um, can we just praise God that his Holy Spirit lives within us and is here to stay? You know, God's Spirit is eternal and is to be within us forever. And so we don't have to fear um, his Spirit um, dying out or, or, or leaving us stranded somewhere. Uh, he is alive within us. And so let's draw upon that strength, just as Paul does here uh, in verse 21, where it talks about how Paul had fasted. He had been away from food. And he urges the men to um, continue to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. And Acts 27 verse 23 says, For there stood by me this night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe, God, that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Uh, and so, God is able to get you where he needs you to be. Understand that, receive that today in Jesus' name, that he is able to get you where you need to be. 
Uh, and so may you continue to have hope knowing that it is in his strength, it is in his power, it is in his, his sovereignty to get you to where he needs you to be. He wants your cooperation, though. We need to submit to his ways, just as Paul submitted to his ways and said to encourage those around him that I believe God, that it will be just as it was told me. Do you believe God just as it was told you? Do you believe God and what he has done through Jesus Christ for you? That though, and this is what Jesus said himself, that though in this life you may have great tribulation, take heart for I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. And so let's continue to look to him for hope, for he is able to deliver us from the darkest of powers. He is able to deliver us from the greatest of sicknesses. He is able to deliver us from the strongest of storms because he is over them all. And so will you take heart today and believe God, just as it was told you, that he will deliver you and remain faithful. And one last thing I want to just draw you to um, before we close for today. If you skip down to verse 31, um, we read that unless these men stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. And so what the men were trying to do, some of them were trying to lower lifeboats so that they could get in the lifeboats and escape the ship and more or less, if you will, take their lives into their own hands. And so this is not what you want to do, my brothers and sisters. Stay with God. Stay with those who know God, who can be an encouragement to you in the faith today. Don't take your life into your own hands. Don't try to escape the storm your own way. Ride out the storm with Jesus Christ by the power of his Holy Spirit and through the encouragement and love of those around you. Let them know if you are in need, and most of all, cry out to God and humble yourself before him. It is okay. He wants to help you. He wants to bless you. He wants to bring you through. Jesus Christ is the answer. And ultimately, we see what happens in, in Acts chapter 27 is that deliverance comes. Uh, you know, when Paul made that statement of faith there in verse 25 of Acts chapter 27, deliverance didn't come. Um, for 14 days later. Uh, and so it took a bit more time for that deliverance to come from the storm. And so may you hold fast, knowing that Jesus Christ is the way through. God bless you. I pray you are encouraged through this and that you may share it with others and change the world in Jesus' name.